Hey guys, Brett here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use my CTA bot software. So the very first thing that you really should do when you log into your account the first time is go up here to the My Account section and set your time zone offset. Now your time zone offset is going to be different depending on your location. And if you don't know your time zone offset, you can go ahead and click here and it will show you a map. So simply find your location on that map and you'll get your offset. And the reason that this is important is because the CTA bots do allow you to put a timer into them. And you want your timer to show in your time zone. So by entering in your offset, you can ensure that everybody sees a countdown timer in your time zone, regardless of where they're actually located. Once you have your time zone offset set, you can go ahead and start creating your first bot. In order to create your first bot, simply go ahead and click on the My Bot section, and then click on Create New. It's going to ask you to give your bot a name. So I'm going to call it first test. This name could be anything I want. It's for my reference only. I'll go ahead and click on save new and I can now edit my bot. So to edit my bot, I only have to fill in a couple of settings. So the first thing is the bot name. I can change that if I like uh, or I can leave it the same. The second thing it's going to ask me for is which bot I want to use. Now over here on the right hand side, you can actually see a preview of the bot. And there are several bots that you can choose from. Simply pick the one that you want to use. And it's then going to ask you for the sequence that you want. So each bot has multiple sequences and multiple action sequences that you can choose from as well. So you can go ahead and you can check the different sequences out and pick one that you want to use for your bot. It's then going to ask you for the voice that you want to use with your bot. And this is for when your bot actually speaks the text that you have in your call to action. There are several voices here that you can choose from. There are male and female voices, and there's voices in multiple languages. There's voices for English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. Simply pick a voice that you want to use. And then you can go ahead and enter in your speak text. Your speak text is the text that your bot will actually speak when the bot loads up. And that can be different from the show text. So the show text is what is actually displayed in the call to action. And the speak text is what is actually spoken. Generally speaking, your speak text will be longer and more in depth. And your show text will just be a summary of what is actually spoken. So that way it fits in the call to action better. Next, it's going to ask you if you want to have a countdown timer inside of your bot call to action. So you can go ahead and select yes if you want to have a countdown timer. If you do decide to have a countdown timer, you can then go ahead and enter in the date that you want your timer to count down to and also the time as well. And keep in mind that this is going to be in the time zone that's calculated by your time zone offset that you set earlier. Finally, it's going to ask you to enter in your call to action text. This is the text that shows in your button, and it's going to ask you for the call to action URL. That's where people will go to if they click your call to action button. Once you have all this entered, go ahead and click on Save Changes. And you can then go ahead and click the Embed button. It's going to ask you if you want your bot to show on the left-hand side of the screen or the right-hand side of the screen. That's up to you. That's your personal preference. Once you select which one you want, simply click on Generate Embed Code, and you can go ahead and take that code and put it inside of your website. So I'll go ahead and put it inside of a test post on my WordPress blog so you can see exactly how it works. Okay, so I've gone and added my code to a post on my blog, and I'll go ahead and preview it so we can see exactly how it works. This is a really quick demo of the CTA bot software that Brett has created. Click below to join Brett's Facebook group to learn more. So I don't know if you can hear it inside of this video, but it did actually speak my speak text, which is much longer than my call to action text. Uh, here's my bot here doing its little animation that I've selected. It's got my call to action text, my countdown timer, and my call to action button, which will send people where I want them to go if they click on it. So that's a really quick view of how to use the CTA bot software. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I'm always glad to be of assistance when I can. Thank you and enjoy.